So to begin the event, I'm, I have great pleasure to introduce uh, the distinguished Tan Sri Datuk Dr. Yusuf Fasarong, the Executive Director of the Council of Palm Oil Producing Countries, to uh, make some opening remarks. Over to you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, the distinguished uh, His Excellency, Mr. Johari, Ambassador of Indonesia to China, uh, distinguished uh, Professor Gu, our <coughs> key speaker today, uh, Jeff, Pak Dupito, Desmond Ng, uh, distinguished participants, good afternoon again. I would like to thank everyone today for joining another session of the CPOPC webinar series that we have been running for the past two months during the pandemic. I'm pleased to speak for and on behalf of the Council of Palm Oil Producing Countries or CPOCC during this event. And it is a great honor to welcome everybody this afternoon in spite of your daily commitments for, uh, to listen to key palm oil experts in China. This webinar series that aims to continuously spread important messages of the palm oil industry was started upon realization that the current COVID-19 pandemic is far from being declared as over. Uncertainties of what lies ahead are looming, are still looming over us, and the palm oil industry is not exempt, exempted from this reality as well. However, with these challenges, there must come resilience. This pandemic has brought us to a new way of strengthening efforts to meet and collaborate that definitely does not dilute the paramount goal we wish to achieve. As we all know, China is the world's major importer of palm oil. It has been proven many times that palm oil, with all its health benefits and affordability, is increasing in popularity globally, but not without its own sets of challenges. The current trend in global consumption relies heavily on sustainable practices and production, and this extends to palm oil also. The commitments of palm oil producing countries to supply sustainable palm oil uh, have proven with the uh, have been proven with the enactment of the following sustainability mandatory national scheme. First, the Indonesian Sustainable Palm Oil, ISPO, and also the Malaysian Sustainable Palm Oil, MSPO. We are grateful to know that the Chinese government has been supportive in promoting sustainable consumption and sustainable palm oil imports that is in line with the government's 2030 agenda. Certainly, with the support of the government, there will be a growing increase in the demand of sustainable palm oil for household and industrial purposes. According to an analysis by the MPOC, 85% of the Chinese population advocate for sustainable products compared to only 36% from the USA, according to Ipsos survey conducted on behalf of the World Economic Forum in January, 2020. The future of the sustainable palm oil industry is thus seemingly bright, especially for all the palm oil producing countries. Thus, this afternoon's session will be an interesting one as we listen to facts and propose ideas on China's sustainability strategies for palm oil stakeholders and industry that will be delivered by Professor Gu Karel right after the remarks from His Excellency Ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia to the People's Republic of China and Mongolia, Mr. Jauhari Orat Mangun, who has also graced us with his presence this afternoon. Joint efforts by palm oil producing countries like Indonesia and Malaysia and major consuming countries like China to collaborate and foster partnership is making palm oil sustainable in making palm oil sustainable is becoming the acceptable norm moving forward. This is surely in line with the speech of President Xi Jinping during the United Nations General Assembly, 
where he stated that we need to foster global development partnerships that are more equal and balanced, forge greater synergy among multilateral development operation, uh, cooperation process, and speed up the implementation of the UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. So this webinar is thus a continuation of the previous efforts towards a single direction, sharing commitments to carry out our roles to ensure sustainable production and consumption amid this COVID-19 crisis and beyond. It is my hope and desire that you will take advantage of this opportunity to come up with valuable recommendations and conclusions that will be beneficial to the interests of palm oil consuming and producing countries. I wish you a more successful webinar. Thank you.